Merciful Father, we come in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, Yeshua. We come thanking you, praising you, worshiping you. Thou art worthy of all of our praise and our worship. You blessed us to see another day. Your new mercies met us this morning. We're thankful. And now, Lord, we need to hear a word from you. We need to be encouraged. We need to uh, 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 have reasons to have hope. So we pray that you'll word will come forth as pure gold. I pray that you would anoint this word. I pray that you will anoint me, the speaker. I pray that you would you you would you would you would allow the words to become seed and produce fruit in our lives. We just thank you and we love you. Bless Lord, strengthen Lord, keep us. In your son's name we pray. Amen. I want to say good morning to all of you. And it has been a couple of weeks and we've been through some uh, uh, rough times. But God delivered us all. He blessed us. He has strengthened us. He's kept us through all hurt, harm, and danger. I want to thank y'all for uh, blessing and healing my wife and protecting her through the procedure uh, that she had to take on the 28th. And we're thankful and we, we can say uh, without reservation, hesitation that she is recovering and that she is on the road to recover. You know that I I love preaching and I like to preach, but this morning we're just going to talk to you. We're going to uh, uh, teach you this morning and, and, and alert you on some uh, things that's, that's going on. Our text is found in the book of James. Chapter 4, verse 8. Come closer to God with a contrite heart, broken heart, an humble heart, and he will come closer to you. Wash your hands, you sinner, and purify your unfaithful heart. You, you double-minded people. My, 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 my subject this morning is, it's time to draw nearer to God. It's time to draw nearer to God. Uh, Playtime is over. Uh, we need to stop straddling the fence. We need to Stop being one way today and one way tomorrow. We need to draw near to God. Yes. Yes. And if there's ever been a time that we need, or uh, is there ever been a time for us to draw near to God, the time is right now. Uh, uh, when COVID started, we were all fearful and we sought the Lord more collectively, cooperatively uh, than we perhaps ever had. And then we sought the Lord uh, uh, personally for our personal selves and 
our families. We were afraid. We were broken hearted. Uh, we humbled ourselves and, and, and sought the Lord because nobody knew uh, uh, anything about this COVID. And, and, and we know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, you are the healer, the healer, and you are our provider. As usual, when a crisis or a storm rises, we turn to the Lord in ways we have never sought him before. Uh, uh, we really cry out yeah. to him. Yeah. But when the crisis or when the storm begins to subside, we have a tendency to slack up. We don't pray. We don't speak God as we ought to, as we as much as we should. But I'm here to tell you that the COVID is ramping back up again. Uh, listen to this. Uh, I was in conversation with one of my doctors on last week. And my doctor told me that he and his wife both, both are doctors, uh -huh, contracted this new strand of COVID. Now listen, a doctor and his wife that have had all the shots and all the boosters, and but what happened, they let their guard down. Uh, letting their God meant not necessarily wearing a mask or nor practicing uh, the distances and other things that have been uh, 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 outlined. Uh -huh. and, 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 and what has happened, we uh, kind of let our guards down. More and more people and more and more of us, we see uh, nobody wearing, we, we don't see people wearing masks and they are not practicing social distancing and using other protective measures. Uh, uh, most of all, we have let our pursuit of God go down. One time we were pursuing it and, and now we just kind of haphazardly pursue God. Yes. In other words, we aren't seeking him and we're not trying to draw near him as we once did months ago. Uh, now, have you been following the news lately? Uh, I'm not talking about that Trump mess or the January 6th riot, but let me share some things with you that should attract your attention. Most of us, most people actually believe in the Bible, the word of God, that, and that the word is, uh, uh, the Bible is the inspired word of God. Now, I want you to listen to the scripture. Uh, Matthew uh, uh, 24, 3 through 13. Lisa, later, Jesus said, later, Jesus sat, pardon me, on the Mount of Olives, saying, when uh, his disciples came to him privately, said, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of the coming and the end of this world, the end and judgment? Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed uh, that no man deceive you. Now, we've been learning here of late that we have been deceived so much and lied to over and over again all of our lives. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. Uh, ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that, see that ye not be troubled, yes. for all these things must come to pass, yes. but the end is not yet. Yes. For nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. There shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquake in diverse places. All of these are the beginning of sorrow. They shall deliver you up 
to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And listen at this. And because of iniquity, because of loneliness shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold, wax cold. But he said that he that endured to the end shall be saved. Then we read Luke 21, 28. Now when these things begin to occur, stand tall and lift up your heads and joy because suffering in as your redemption is drawing near. As my mother and my dad used to say a long time ago, uh, what do you reckon? Meaning, what do you think? Uh, what do you think of, about what the scriptures are saying? These scriptures that I've just read to you, what do you think? Do you believe them? What is happening in the world? Is it just a coincidence that so many things are happening as the Bible has said? Or is it coming close uh, to the time of judgment? A uh, uh, judgment is coming. Listen at the news. Russia, China, Venezuela, Iran, Syria, I mean Syria, Saudi Arabia are trying to form an alliance. And the alliance is guess who? Against, guess who? The United States. It is reported that Russia wants Alaska back. And they're doing everything to get Alaska. If you remember, uh, 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 their bombers are, uh, are seen off the coast uh, uh, of Alaska. Uh, uh, they want to fight us on our own soil. In, in, in wars past, wars uh, have been fought on foreign soil. Uh, but now they plan to invade our country. Remember we read in the scriptures wars and rumors of war. Russia is at war with Ukraine and looking to expand the war. There are people talking about that there are too many people in the world. And as the, the more they talk about it, listen at this, the more variants of COVID are discovered. Uh, and each variant is more uh, a, a deadly and, and more powerful than the other. We read, about pestilence. Pestilence is a contagious or an infectious epidemic disease that is devastating. And when you got money, you can do almost anything. What am I trying to say? Some of those folks that are talking about there are too many people in the world got money, and I believe beyond the shadow of a doubt that they are behind some of these epidemics and some of uh, uh, these health devastating health issue that we're facing, trying to, as, he, as Hitler, trying to purify the race. They're, they're trying to get rid of people. They don't mind destroying people to get what they want. Stay with me now. I read the other day that European nations are experiencing the hottest temp since 1757. Is the earth growing? Is the earth moaning? There are some places in California where they are rationing water. Rivers in Utah 
are drying up. Rivers and lakes in the Midwest are drying up. There is such a drought that it's going to take years for these rivers and lakes to start flowing again. The bad thing about all this is people are in denial. They're saying that it ain't happening, or if it happens, uh, it will not affect me. I'm asking you, what does it take for us to wake up, get the wake up call, uh, 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 and do something about it? Now, 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 think about uh, the earthquake recently. It says earthquake in divers places. Divers is the old world spelling for diverse. Diverse place mean in different places. It used to be earthquakes in California. It used to be earthquake out west, earthquakes in other countries. But right here in South Carolina, in our home state, we've had earthquakes. We, we, I, I remember the day that my wife had surgery. Uh, my daughter stayed at the hospital, and I came home. The, just the time that I walked in the house, my this house shook, and, and it was a rumbling noise, sound like a freight train or, or trucks passing by. Uh, I went outside, and my neighbors were all standing around looking. What had happened, an earthquake right here in our state, Lugar, Camden, even downtown Columbia, yes. Lord have mercy. And, 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 and don't get me started mm. about uh, uh, the famine, food shortages. Now, if the government is having problems getting food, what about the rest of the country? And in the commissary the other day, I saw so many uh, empty shells. Uh, 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 and, and, and what's so disturbing is that most of our food and our supplies is coming from a country that is getting ready to align with another country to attack us. Most of the stuff that we use to eat uh, 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 the supplies uh, we, we do on a daily basis are coming from China. Not only that, most of our gas and petroleum and stuff is coming uh, uh, from foreign land. Not only are there food shortage, there are worker shortage. Uh, I took my, took my wife's car in the other day uh, for an alignment, couldn't get an alignment because there was only one guy that could do that job there. Set up an appointment, went back on the day of the appointment. Instead of it taking an hour, it took three hours because there's they were worker shortage. Been lied to all of our lives. Don't get me started. And because of the iniquity, the lawlessness, we've talked about this in Bible study. The love of folks have grown cold. People hate you because of the color of your skin. Uh, all of the gun violence, the racism, and it's not just black against white, but you a uh, racism against Latinos and supposedly Jews. Uh, not only that, but we hate each other. Stabbing, backstabbing, crabs in a bucket, uh, senseless killing of one another. Uh, uh, and we are so hated because people are beginning to realize that we are God's chosen people. God told me to tell you this morning that we need to draw near to God and 
I'm going to give you uh, just a couple of benefits of drawing near to God. First of all, if we draw near to God, he will draw near to us. Draw near to God. God will draw near to us. God clarified that you drawing close to him is not in vain. He takes a step towards you. God knows we need his presence daily. Yeah. We need to feel his love. <clears throat> we need his peace and protection. We need his care. He wants us to be secure in our relationship with him. I heard the writer of Hebrews say that he is a rewarder of those who diligently and, and, and earnestly seek him. Another reason, as you get closer to God, you will know God's voice. Can I get a witness? I heard John 10 and 4 say, when he has brought you out all his own, he goes ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. What I'm trying to tell you, when we draw closer to God, we can distinguish his voice from the other voices competing for our attention. And we can distinguish his voice from that of the enemy right, right. who seeks to kill, yes. steal, and destroy. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, we can distinguish uh, the voice of other people that's trying to gain our attention. I'm so glad uh, that spending time with the Lord, you will know his voice because the Lord puts his spirit in each of us. Uh, spending time with him makes us sensitive to his voice. When you get closer to the Lord, uh, you will receive the blessing of Yah. I heard the writer say, Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his way. Psalms 128 and 1. When you walk closely with God each day, he blesses you abundantly. He, his blessings are always upon you. And you don't have to do anything to deserve it. Just be his child. God has promised that if you obey him, his blessing will overtake you. Lord, have mercy. Remember Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. You see the blessing in the work of your hand. You'll see uh, his blessing as you travel. He says, I bless you coming in and I bless you going out, your family will be blessed, your land will be blessed, everywhere the sole of your feet trod, you out. will be blessed. Yes, yes. Drawing near to God, you'll experience his blessing. Draw near to God and you will prosper. I heard old man Job say, submit to God and be of peace with him. In, it, in this way, you will prosper. Yes. God will bless you. Can I get a witness? Yes. Yes. It's important for every child of God to prosper. When we prosper, uh, the world sees how we prosper. And this glorifies God. Prosperity applies to every area of your life. Are not just in finances, but in every area of life. God promises that if you fear him, you and your descendants will dwell 
in prosperity. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. He grants us prosperity in the fruit of your labor, grants us prosperity in the fruit of the womb, grant us prosperity in everything you do. God's plan is to prosper us. He has a good plan for our life, a plan to prosper us, to give us a hope and a future. He gives us strength. Yes, please. When we talk closer. Yes, to yes, he does. I heard the writer say, uh, I can do all things yes. through Christ that strengthens me. You will have strength to make it when you don't think you're going to make it. You'll have strength out of nowhere. You will have strength to go home and do what God has called you to do. We are going to conclude with Psalm 103, 2, uh, two through 5 uh, as an assortment of God's benefit. I heard the writer say, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, forget not all his benefit. Who forgives, listen at this, who forgives all your sin. Yes. Uh -huh. And he heals yes. all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crown you with love and compassion, who satisfies you, uh, your desire with good things, so that your youth is renewed like an eagle. Church of the living God today, there are benefits in serving Yah. Draw closer to him, and he will draw closer to you. I guarantee you that some of the things that we are facing, some of the things that we are going through, if we draw closer to him, uh, they will appear less and less in our lives. God is our protector. He's our healer. He's our provider, yes. our company keeper, our burden bearer, our heavy load sharer. On, He's sir. our all yeah. and our all. Hold on. Hang on to God, to your unchanging hand. Draw near to him so that he will draw near to you. Yes, sir. And bless you your life. May y'all bless you. And may the peace of y'all go with you all the days of your life. Draw near. Now, all of those things I said at the beginning, you know, I want you to think about it. It's time for us to draw now. To draw to y'all. You never know when you leave home, if you want to make it back in the presence of Jehovah, you never know whether you're going to make it back. I mean, you go to bed feeling good. <laughs> Wake up. A friend of mine, the classmate, told me she went to bed feeling good. Woke up the next morning, the only thing that could move was her eyes and her mouth. Couldn't move her body, could not get up out of bed. And the doctor still don't know several months later what happened. My point, draw near. You don't know when. We are going to have, if and when, we're going to have a devastating earthquake. You don't know whether or not you look up one day and the sky be filled with parachutes. Enemies from other lands coming to overtake us. But I know one thing. If we draw closer to God, not just personally, but collectively draw closer to God. He will draw closer to us 
and, and we are entitled to his protection. The only thing and the only one that can protect us and preserve us is Yahweh. Yahweh himself. Don't care how much education you got, how much money you make, there are going to come a time when all of that ain't going to make no difference. That's the time that you're going to need God. Don't wait until something happens to call on him. You draw closer to him now. I'm finished. I used to preach a sermon, putting up some prayers. You pray while things are going good. Pray, pray, pray while things are going good. Because there are going to come a time that, that things are going to happen so fast, you're not going to have time to pray. But you've already got some prayers stored up in the throne room. Draw closer. Draw closer now while things are going good. Draw closer now. Because there's going to come a time that we, we're gonna, not going to have time to react. But, 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 but at that time, if you've got some prayers stored up in the storeroom, God will react, will act, and react on our behalf. Get in the presence of Jehovah as often as you can, not just when trouble comes, but get in his presence, get closer to him now while things are going good. As the, our pray team, praise team leads us in this song, in the presence of Jehovah. Uh, make up in your mind, make in your mind, make up in your mind that I I'm going to draw close to Yah. I'm going to draw closer to him so that he will draw closer to me. Trouble vanish. to Yah, he can cause this pestilence to go away. He can't. He, he, he has the power. I, I, I heard him say, you know, if, 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 if the rain don't come, if the land is dry, if, if, if things are happening around you, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then, then, then I will hear them from heaven. I'll heal the land. And forgive their sins. Sing it, I'm sorry, go sing it.
precious Yah, our Father, the Creator Yah, the mighty Elohim. We, 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 we call on you today. And we are calling on you as never before. We don't know when judgment is coming. We don't know. But all these things are going to take place. But we do know that if we draw near to you, you will draw near to us. The benefits of drawing near to you. Ah, uh, you heal all our diseases. You provide. You make ways. You open doors. You stand by us. You soothe our hearts. You give us peace. So right now, Yahweh, we ask that you would help us draw closer to you. Realizing that the enemy does not want us to be close to you. But Lord, we, 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 we want to draw close to you. We want to be in your presence. Yes. We yes. want to be in fellowship yes. with you. Draw us to you. Draw us unto yourself so that we might be your children and that we will receive the blessings. Your word to declare if we diligently obey your voice, all of these blessings will overtake us. We need you, Father. We need your blessings. We pray that they will overtake us. We pray for those that have medical issues. We pray for those that have emotional issues. We pray for those that does not know that you in the pardon of their sins, just living their life, have handled. We pray that you would draw them also. Lord, we thank you. In spite of our sin, you, you still bless us. In spite of our sins, you extended new mercies toward us this morning. In spite of our sins, you gave your precious son to die in our skin. We're grateful and we're thankful and we love you. In the name of your son, Yeshua. We pray. Amen. Amen.